left wing. Gets a screen from Clark. Stops the dribble. Cross court pass for Corning. Inside Clark. Puts it up and banks it home for two. Of the Illinois State bench. Inside it goes. Cappy off a slip screen. Ball fake. Puts it up and banks it home. Bounces for Corning. To the rack. Kicking it out. Rooney. A long three on the way and knocks it down. Knifes her way to the middle. Pull up jumper is up. Too short but burns the rebound. And she sticks it back. Plus one. Extended right side. Turns and faces. Kicks it. Left corner. Misery. A three. And that one's good. First, here comes the Maroon and White. Long pass ahead. Rooney. Knifes her way through all the way to the cup. Lays it in. Plus one. Rooney the acrobatic play. Posting up. Kicks it out for Tapia. Extra pass. Corny. Top of the arc. Three. Count it. Abigail Corning, give her all three. That she wasn't able to play too many minutes in the first half for the Redbirds. Clark, a wide open three, and that one's good. Gets it off to Stewart, puts up a jumper as time expires. It's an air ball, and that will do it. A 57-32 victory for the Fordham Rams, their most dominant performance of the season. The one-on-one -on -one post game report is coming up next. You're listening to Fordham Rams Basketball. Here with Fordham head coach Stephanie Gately after her team's 57-32 win over Illinois State. Coach, amazing defensive effort. What'd you like out of the girls there tonight? I just like that we set the tone really early. It made it difficult for them to score. I mean, I thought that was one of the best 20 minutes of, of defense that I've ever seen from one of my teams. So I was really, really proud that the kids really, really took ownership over the defense and, and some of the things we went over this week. I think we accomplished what we had set out for. Talking about that first half, you held Illinois State to 2 of 26 from the field. What was it? Were you just getting out and extending? What was so good about the defense? I mean, there's a little bit of everything. There's a lot of details involved. A lot of it depends on your opponent, whether they have shooters and don't have shooters and how you want to defend it. But I just think that we did a great job of taking them out of what they wanted to do. I think we set the tone early defensively. And even though there was a lot of lulls for us offensively, you would have thought, you know, we were shooting lights out. But really, it wasn't our offense that was really on fire. It was really our defense. Coach, you're one and two after the first three games of the year with losses to very good Penn State and Hofstra teams. Now you've won seven in a row. What's changed with this team over the past month? I think the challenge at Hofstra, I, I mean, I think one of the worst I ever felt after a loss was after Hofstra, and it wasn't because of losing, because obviously when you coach this many games, you lose a lot of games, but it was, had a lot to do with there was just no sense of urgency and no sense of passion on defense, and I think once the kids kind of zeroed in on, on what is really Fordham basketball defensively, I think the kids set the tone, and I think that it's been set, and I think we're ready to finish it off in right. the regular season. All right, thanks a lot, Coach. Good win. All right, take care.